one here, Vintage Antique 9-inch Dam Troll dunk Donkey. Um, you guys, it's a donkey. <laughs> it's sold for one. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about 50 big money, unexpected bolos, items that we all need to be on the lookout for, items we can hopefully find, number one, hopefully find them cheap and sell them high. Um, in this video, I have pulled from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. What I do is I go into eBay and I search active auctions and I look for things with a lot of bids, because that shows me that people are interested in that item. And then I share the auction in my Facebook group and we can all watch it. But many times it's a bolo when I post it, but I never go back and see how that auction ends. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how all of those auctions end ended. <laughs> I have 50 of them coming your way. And some of these are just shocking. All right, let's get started. All right. The first item is that this Kawasaki toy saxophone and um it sold for $510.97 plus shipping with 50 bids. So before we go any further, what I want to show you guys is if you go into the bid history, um one thing you can look at when you're looking at these is how does the bid history look? Is it a bunch of people with zero feedback bidding on the item? Um, that can help you determine if the item got paid for. That's just one little trick. Now, oh, also, uh, you can look at how many unique bidders. So there were 15 people bidding on this item that were interested in it. So that tells me that people are looking for this item. I think somebody mentioned maybe a TikTok video about this. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. If you know, let me know in the comments. All right. So... Another thing you can do, this ended on July 11th. We can go into the seller's store and we can type in saxophone. And if the item got paid for, we are going to see feedback. And this item got paid for. Now, everybody doesn't leave feedback. So this is not always... I mean, it doesn't always work, but it's a good way to try and verify. When I do my Bolo category videos, I go in and verify all of the um, items that I'm sharing with you so that you know that they are legit good sales um, and like it, they got paid for. So this one actually got pa paid for. I did not verify all of these. Another thing you can look for is when you pull up the listing at the top, it will say item was relisted, like right here, bidding has ended on this item, and it'll say seller has relisted this item. If it says that, you know that the item was relisted for non, probably non-payment. So those are a couple things you can look for when you're doing research on items that sell um, on eBay. All right, so this is a vintage Polly Pocket 30 plus lot. I always share these in the group. I'm always fascinated at what these sell for. Um, could somebody have parted this out and made a lot more? Maybe. Is a reseller buying this? I, I don't know, but they always intrigue me. Super fun. I know um, Rachel Strickland, if you are not following her YouTube channel, definitely go follow her. But she messaged me one day and she's like, oh my goodness, you're not going to believe what my mom and dad found um, at the thrift store. And she's like, they found vintage Polly Pocket because they were watching your YouTube channel. And I just got a kick out of that. I'm like, your parents watch me? I'm like, that is so cool. So go check out my friend Rachel Strickland over on YouTube. It's a reseller channel, super educational. She's fantastic and you will love her. So I will link her down below. But anyway, these vintage Polly Pocket and shout out to her parents if you're watching. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this sold for $337. And there's a lot of little mini figures here. So let me know in the comments if you would have parted it out or sold it as a lot. Okay, beautiful 19 inch antique uh, Perrin doll with glass eyes made in Germany. Look at her. She is fancy, fancy. Is she, hmm, are her hands cloth? They might be. Hard to say. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's cool. So that kind of gives you an idea of what, here we go. Wow. Cool. Right. 
of what you should be looking for. So she has a porcelain face and then her body looks like it's soft. Okay. $328.56 on that one made in Germany. And a lot of times it will show you information on the back of the neck. Um, this one, it looks like it's a, got a six on it. I don't see anything else. Uh, it, it's different for everything, but that's, yeah, they're showing that. So that must mean something. I have no idea. Dolls, I'm not great at, you know, I'm trying to learn, but all right. This was actually somebody from my Facebook group and they are also a Bolo Buddies member. Um, you will see this featured in a member's video, but I believe she picked this up for a couple bucks at the Goodwill and sold it for $1,525. It's a rare vintage Briar 1963 horse. And it's kind of like a blue dappled color. Um, very, very cool, hard to find piece. And what a super find. And she actually found another one that sold also. I don't have a picture of that one. Vintage 1967 Planet of the Apes. It's a trash can. It's a trash can. It sold for $89. So not crazy money on that one. I was interested to see where that one would go. It's got some damage on it, but definitely a cool little find there. This one here is um, backgammon and these are Bakelite. And if you don't know how to test for Bakelite, I do have a video on my channel that shows you how to do that. It's super, super easy. You can order this stuff. It's called Semichrome off of eBay. It's really cheap and you can test Bakelite and it's really easy. So check out that video. But this sold for $880 plus shipping. Um, you can find um, game pieces, dice, um, bracelets, jewelry, lots of things that can be Bakelite. The next item are these adorable vintage guest jeans, uh, baby guests overalls. How cute are these? Okay. I want to know how many of you wore guest jeans and pegged your pants. <laughs> I was a pants pegger. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Um, these sold for $300 plus shipping. The next item, somebody please tell me you pegged your pants in the comments. So I'm not the, I'm not alone. Vintage Oshkosh purple floral bubble romper. These sold for $152.50. Now, a few years ago, these were trending big time and some of them were going for three, $400. I have a video on it. Um, they don't seem to be going for as much now. They're not trending like they were, but some of them still fetch a nice penny. Somebody asked me, what is vest back? Right here, this is your vest back logo. It's a triangle, it's upside down, and it says vest back on it. That's what you're looking for. You want it to be made in the USA. And again, that one sold for $152.50, which I still think is an excellent return. Vintage 1987 Thundercats Mongor LJN Telepix action figure. This sold for $81 plus shipping. Plan Divino. De Las Edis, I don't know, Watchtower Divine Plan in Spanish. So this is in Spanish. And this book sold for $1,275 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage Sony Walkman. I think by now, if you guys follow my channel, you know that vintage Walkmans can be a big money bolo. Terry over at Mindful Recycle found one that was not working. And I think she still sold it in the $500 range. Definitely check out Terry Mindful Recycle on YouTube. She is one of the biggest bolo finders that I know. Um, just the way she sources is incredible. And her what sold videos are jam packed with uh, bolo information. I'll link her down below as well. $720 free shipping on this one. Thundercats. Uh, does anybody else love that they put this little tykes like house in the back. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I think it's fantastic. Um, these figures uh, sold for $1,925. They are from 1985. The next item are these early 1900s original vintage quilted wool baseball pants. They sold for $393.99 plus shipping. Vintage Acro Popeye Corkscrew Marbles. This is a category I would love to learn about, but I feel like it would be really hard. These sold for $591 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1996 Olympic Games Atlantic ball cap, snapback hat official, $92 it sold for plus shipping. Vintage cop, cop face, quart milk bottle, huh? Twin Elm Dairy, Cashel, Michigan from the 1930s. This thing sold for $153.50. 
So number one, it's really a cool shape. And number two, it has the vintage advertising on it. And it looks like it's chipped, but it still did pretty well. Little Kittle storybook. Um, these are, uh, it looks like there's lockets and dolls and accessories. I would have parted this out 100%. Um, they ended up selling this for $382. So they did do pretty well. I don't know if it would have sold more individually or not. If any of my toy experts are watching, let me know what you would have done down in the comments. All right, this is a vintage Catholic first class street. Street? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> St. Teresa of Child Jesus uh, Reclerary. I don't know what that word is. Relic. So $731 for this. I have not a clue what it is, but it looks... Um, it looks really old and really fantastic. $731. Does anybody else want to know what they started the auction at? Like, I wonder if they knew it was a bolo. 14 unique bidders. They did put it on private. And they started the auction at $9.99. Wow, that's cool. Reed's 1950s unopened butterscotch candy. If you want to know about more candy that you can find that's big money, uh, check out that video on candy that I did. It's a category video. This sold for a hundred bucks. Some go for crazy money. So vintage Converse Chuck Taylors, all-star red high top sneakers made in the USA, $265 on those plus shipping. This is a vintage Pyrex Turquoise Blue Atomic Starburst Baker Casserole Dish. This one sold for $736.60 plus shipping. If you want to learn about other Pyrex that go for big money, I do have a video on that. Um, there was that one recently. There was a big, it was a big deal. I can't remember what it ended up selling for. The buyer did not end up paying, but it was a super lucky in love or something like that. Um, but I have a video on it. Just absolutely crazy. But I want to tell you, um, not all Pyrex is a bolo. There is a lot that is not even worth picking up because by the time you pay the asking price, you list it, you have selling fees, you're not going to make much money. But uh, there are big money, but there are a lot of bread and butter. So definitely do your research before you pick it up. Things that you need to look for is the pattern, the shape, the shape and pattern together. Like all of those things are really important for collectors, the condition. So uh, check out that video. I've got more information in that. This is a Rushton and it is a white and pink plush sleeping rubber face kitten kitty cat from the 1950s. It sold for $1,625 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage lot of rhinestone costume jewelry. Now, from time to time, I will post things like this in the group because it is a reseller group. And to me, this is probably a reseller lot. Somebody that's going to buy this probably doesn't need all this jewelry. They're probably buying it to flip. Now, I will tell you this display would take hours <laughs> to set up. It's beautiful. And um, it looks like there's a lot of higher end nice jewelry here. So... This ended up selling for $1,700. And if you go over here to see other items, one thing I like to look for is what else is the person selling? Um, so right now they have this listed. It's a vintage crafting lot, single clip on earrings. So it's just a bunch of, this is for somebody who crafts that wants to make something cool. So they got that for 150. But if you look at their solds, this is their only sold in the last 90 days. So this is not somebody who is listing um, one-offs. So they probably didn't cherry pick it would be my guess, but I don't know. Sometimes you can go into their feedback and you can look at, sometimes it'll tell the title, but it doesn't tell the title on that one. So, well, that's weird. I can see, oh, oh, what is, why can I see? Oh, so they're buying from these sellers. Okay. Received as seller. That's what I want to look at. Okay. So here we go. It looks like everything that they're selling is in um, all their jewelries and lots. So, okay. That's another thing when you're researching and you're buying lot, lots on eBay, something to look at. Lot of 132 antique and vintage Catholic rosaries 
from Nun's Convent. These sold for $573 on auction. So again, maybe a great reseller lot. I don't know. This one here, Vintage Antique 9-Inch Damn Troll dunk Donkey. Um, you guys, it's a donkey. <laughs> it sold for $1,025. And you're like, yeah, right. No, that didn't sell. Yeah, it did. And here is the proof right here. Pleased with purchase. Thank you. Easy, smooth trans transaction. Recommend seller. <laughs> I love it. All right. Vintage Victoria's Secret Second Skin Thong Panty. Second Skin Satin. If you find these, they are a big money bolo. Some of them go in the hundreds of dollars. These sold for $50 and 89 cents. I'm surprised they did not sell for more. I think it's because they forgot the word satin. Okay. The next item, I don't know if that's really why. I'm just speculating. Vintage Daisy Kingdom Petticoat Princess Flower Rabbit Party Dress. Uh, size six sold for $510. Look how cute it is. Daisy Kingdom is a fantastic, if, if you can find a vintage fabric that's Daisy Kingdom, that also does well. Huge vintage Barbie and friends. Again, this was probably something that I was posting in case somebody really knows about Barbies. Maybe they would be picking this up as a reseller lot to part it out. This sold for $276 plus shipping. So again, if you go in to see other items, you can see what the person is selling. If they are selling outfits like this, they have probably went through that pile and picked out all the good stuff. Now, that doesn't mean there's still not some bread and butter in that listing, but that's a great way to kind of research. Vintage 30s boys denim chore jacket barn coat from the 1930s sold for $1,225. This is a huge 80s, 90s G.I. Joe action figure lot, and this was actually in the 4000 range. Um, but the buyer did not pay. The item was relisted and sold for $3,000. And I did confirm that with feedback. So um, the first auction went for more, but the buyer didn't pay. Massive vintage orange bittersweet swung slag floor MCM vase, $430 on that. These seem to be trending right now. So if you see a vase that has like a dip. It doesn't have to be this deep of a dip, just like a dip like this. I think they call that swung or slag. I'm not really sure. I'm not very good with glass and stuff, but I have been seeing a lot of solds um, in the high dollar range for these vases. This is a vintage Masters of the Universe He-Man Snake Mountain play set. set. M-O-T-U, Masters of the Universe. I remember seeing that a long time ago. I'm like, what does that mean? And then I figured it out and I felt really silly. But anyway, $72 for this with uh, free shipping. I'm surprised that didn't go for more. Some of those go for a lot. Maybe it was incomplete or not in great condition. I don't know. I didn't look at the pictures. Vintage metal pin fishing tackle, real thermometer, $242.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage baby Morgan blanket. This is the balloon front print waffle knit silk trim. I don't know if that's silk or satin trim. I think it's satin. Um, the balloon print has a tendency to do really well. So if you see that, but baby Morgan right here, if you see these, these are definitely a bolo item made in the USA vintage, pick them up. This one sold for $171 plus shipping. The next item are these new old stock vintage dead stock, 1930s, 40s, Sears, Roebuck, Hercules, Sanferi's overalls, $1,798.54 plus shipping. This is a vintage uh, Varset, Varsetti, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a wire-free 90s silky nylon spandex brawl. Um, so it's vintage, it's discontinued, and this sold for $83 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage pressed steel Ocean City, Maryland's Ocean Resort license tag. So this hooks onto your license plate. This sold for $77 plus shipping, and I've seen others that have done well also, so definitely look those up. Here is a vintage 1960s Mattel Barbie outfit. If you can identify the number, you definitely want to put that in your title. This one sold for $235 plus shipping. Ghostface Scream Mask. Um, I have a video on vintage Halloween masks. Definitely check that out. Some of these can go for crazy money. 
This one is Easter Unlimited. If you can find the ones that say Fun World Division on the bottom of the chin like this, those typically go for more. This one sold for $233.50 with free shipping. Here's another Polly Pocket. This one sold for $260 plus shipping. Vintage Gem and the Holograms, Misfits, Dolls and Clothes from 1985. Would you have parted it out or sold it as a lot? These sold for $154.01. The next item are these vintage Craftsman ratchet and mix socket set sold for $425. That's one thing that I miss out on because I know nothing about tools, but I'm guessing you could probably look it up pretty easy. The next item is this wholesale lot of thousands of paper labels and vintage ephemera, antique food, crate, vegetable, and soda. $330 on this. This is just jam-packed of ephemera. And a lot of people really look at that Campbell's soup. How funny is that? People sell this stuff and they make a living selling ephemera. Um, let's see other items. Um, this seller, the Rag Lab, has a bunch of, I would call them potentially reseller lots. You know, somebody who wants to take the time to part out these, um, these types of things. Uh, ephemera to me is it's hit and miss and it's a lot of work, but there can be some crazy big money bolos. So that might be a story you guys want to check out. Here is a vintage Johnny Marsh duck call, $636 and 99 cents plus shipping. Definitely look up duck calls or any type of call because some of those do really well. This vintage, uh, Pepsi sign, it's a Pepsi Cola 10 sign. Sold for $4,402. Here is another one from that same seller that the Rag Lab. I just wanted to show you guys. This one went for $1,036. And it's just loaded with ephemera. Paper labels, medicine, food, beer. It's just incredible, right? $1,036. That is going to be very time consuming to list. But there's probably a lot of money there. Here is a Ad Lake IHB Railway Lantern with Red Globe sold for $102.50. Now, this one confuses me. This is that same seller that's selling the ephemera. They sold this lot of vintage 70s Levi's New Old Stock Big E Dead Stock Wholesale. This only sold for $133. Um, it says Big E, but I don't... Let me see here. Does it's kind of fuzzy. I can't really let me see if there's another close up. That doesn't look like a big E, does it? Oh, it is. So I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it's the size. They're really small waisted. But gee whiz, I mean, big E can be big, huge money. But um, I don't know. Any, if anybody has any feedback in the comments, let me know. Because $133.50 for, what, 10 pair? I mean, that's like 17, or no, not, I was, it was 133. So what, 12, between 12 and 15 a piece? Probably closer to 15 with the shipping and everything. That's crazy. All right, that one um, expired before I got to the video. So I apologize for that. And here is another one. Wholesale lot, thousands of paper receipts. Like who buys this stuff? 600 bucks they paid for this. Oh my goodness. Like some of it I get, but like this? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Well, that one says railway. So I know railway and railroad stuff is collectible. I don't know. It's definitely interesting. Um, all right, you guys, that was 50 unexpected big money bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. I have a whole playlist of videos just like this. Um, I think they're super educational. It's a great way to learn. Uh, I do it and it helps me learn. So when I am searching eBay to find those listings to share on Facebook, I'm learning and it forces me to learn. And then I was like, you know what? I'm doing this. I might as well create videos and reach maybe people that are not in my Facebook group or that like the video format to throw it on while they're driving or um, podcast style. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, leave me a hat emoji in the comments. Thank you for being here and thanks for watching.